Hey guys, welcome back. I know it's been about a month now since I've been on here to uh, talk to you about free and affordable online resources, which I do, but I'm back today and I want to specifically talk today about using Chrome. And why do I want to talk about that? Well, I'll tell you right when we get back. The reason I want to talk to you about Chrome specifically is because it is the, um, the most popular web browser that is out there. And if you look and see, according to browser platform, browser and platform market shares, this website here kind of breaks down what is the most popular um, browser and what other browsers are kind of up against it. You could see that Chrome, of course, is at the very top, and Safari, and then Internet Explorer, and Edge, and Firefox, and then Opera. So that's why I am talking about Chrome today, and it's what I feel most comfortable with. So the three things, three things that I want to talk about, what you should know about using your Google Chrome browser is, number one, is how to clear out that cache and what does that mean? What um, are we doing? How are you clearing out the history? Why are you doing that? Number two is how to create bookmarks. How can you be more efficient by using bookmarks? If you're going to a website a lot, um, you wanna bookmark that so you can have easy access to it up in your toolbar. And the third thing is using tabs. If you're uh, working online on different programs, you wanna be using different tabs and just different windows and how to kinda of, um, work with those and be more efficient. So those are the three things that I wanna talk about today. So getting right into it, the first one is um, your history, your cache. What, what does that mean? The cookies you've heard. So when, you're, when we're talking about clearing out your cache or clearing out your history or deleting the cookies, etc., your, your browser tends to hold on to information that just keeps it inside of the browser to um, simplify it. And so over time, if you have all of that history, all of that cache that is um, building up inside your browser, it could cause problems with logging in. It's going to pretty much just confu confuse your browser. So what they say is it's like browser hygiene or so I'm going to show you now how to get in and clear out your cache, delete your history, etc. So let's say you're just at Google here and up in the top corner you're going to see the three hamburger icon right here, the three hamburger, the three dots right here, they call the hamburger menu. Um, you're going to click on that and then you're going to go down here to um, clear browsing data. And so what that does is it's just basic browsing history, cookies and other site data, cached images and files. You can see how much stuff is built up over here. You can then go into advanced and you can see all of these things and just make sure they're, I just out of habit check everything, just clear out the data, and boom, it's done. Another way you can do it is just come up here to that same three dots, history, go to history, and then you can come over here and you can go to clear browsing data and it does the same thing. So the next thing I want to talk about is bookmarks. What are they? Why should you use them? And how do you set them up? So with Google Chrome, um, I'm going to show you how to do this in Google Chrome. Uh, if you're visiting websites a lot, you want to bookmark those so you can access them. Real simple, so you can just easily access them and so you're not typing in the URL, etc. all the time. So to do that, you're going to go up here to the same menu and you're going to go to bookmarks and you can show bookmarks so you can see how they pop up or you can unclick the show bookmarks okay so let's just say we want to bookmark google.com we're going to simply click on that same men, um, three dots there you're going to go to bookmarks and you're going to bookmark this page 
you're going to go choose the folder, but if you don't have any folders, you can actually choose another folder. So that way you can organize your bookmarks inside folders. So let's just say I'm going to go to Google and I'm just going to put it um, right smack on the bookmarks bar and I'm going to go done. So now when I go up here to show bookmarks, you'll see that Google has now shown up right there. Then if I want to take it off, I can simply go right click on the Google uh, bookmark and I can just delete it. And from here you can um, also add folders, add a different page, access your bookmark manager. So here's my bookmarks. You can actually double click on them. You can move them around however you want, organize them into different folders, etc. So that is working with your bookmarks. The third thing real quick I want to talk about is tabs. That's just creating different windows or different tabs um, so you can kind of go back and forth between different windows in your, in your browser. So to do that, you're going to, you'll see that I have this window open here. You're going to just click on the plus sign and that is literally all it is doing is adding a new um, tab for you. So you can open up a bunch of these. Um, another cool thing is you can click and then you can bring, drag this down and then it actually opens it up into an entirely different window. So you could now on your keyboard go window, the window icon, snap to the left arrow, window icon snap to the right. So now I can have actually two different windows open side by side. So that's another uh, cool trick for working with different tabs and different windows. With that said, that's, um, that's really three things you should know about using your Chrome browser and maybe why you should use your Chrome, uh, Google Chrome as your browser. So thank you and see you next time. I'll try to make it so it's not 30 days again, but um, hope you enjoyed and talk to you soon.